in the last lecture we created and designed a create course form now that form is a simple html form but in this lecture we are going to make that form an angular reactive form so if i go to our application here whenever a user wants to create a course he can click on this create course button it opens a model pop-up with the create new course form in here the user has to enter the title of the course the description of the course then who is the author of the course the price and then he can also select an image and when this create course button is clicked it should create a new course it should add it to the courses state and it should also render it in the ui so to read the input which the user has entered in these form elements we are going to make this form a reactive form for that let's go to vs code and the first thing which we are going to do is so let me close these files first okay let's also close this terminal and let's first go to app module.ts and in order to create and work with reactive form in angular first we need to import reactive form module okay so let's import it from angular slash form this is the first step next let's go to the create course form so that we have defined inside this add course folder so in there we have this add course component.html and if i scroll down here we have two buttons and the type of this first button is submit and the second button is reset now what we are going to do is let's save the changes in this file and let's go to add course component.ts and there first we are going to create a property I'm going to call this property as course form and it is going to be of type form group and to use this form group we need to import it from angular slash form and here let me also specify another type for this I'll say null and initially I'll assign it with the value null okay now we want to create some properties for this course form and that we are going to do inside ng on init lifecycle hook so for that first of all i am going to implement on init interface and to use this on init interface we also need to import it from angular slash co and since we have implemented on init now we also need to add ng on init lifecycle hook let me remove this type from here and inside this we are going to add some properties for this course form and on those properties we are going to add some validation so here first let's go ahead and let's initialize this course form so for that we will say this dot course form is equal to new form group because we have specified the type for the course form as form group right to this form group we are going to pass an object and inside that object we are going to define some form controls so the first form control which i'm going to define is title and this title is going to be of type form control let's say initial value of this title is null and then here we can also go ahead and add some validators so for example here i can say validators dot required because this title is required for a course then i'll also say validators dot min length so the course title should be a minimum of let's say six characters and then i will also specify max length so i'll say validators dot max length and let's say the course title cannot be more than 100 characters so i'll specify the max length as 100 then i'm going to create another property i'll call it as description here also this description is going to be a form control so i'm going to assign it with an instance of form control initial value for the description is going to be null and on this also we are going to add some validation so let's add the required validator so validators dot required and here i'm going to specify validators dot and here i'm going to specify a min length so min length for the description is maybe 10 characters and let's also specify max length so again let's say validators dot max length and let's say max length is going to be 5000 characters for description then we also have author so i'm going to create another property called author and again this author is going to store a form control 
initial value for author is null and on this also let's add some validators so here i'm going to add only one validator so here let's say validators dot required then we also have price so again to this price i'm going to assign a new form control initial value of price is going to be null and let's add some validator and actually for this price i'll not specify any validator because let's say if the price is not specified in that case the course will be a free course and finally let's also go ahead and let's specify the image property here which is again going to store a form control and here also the initial value is null and for this also i'm not going to specify any validator so let's say while creating the course it is not required to select an image for that course okay let's save the changes here now what we need to do is we need to connect this course form with our html form so for that here we have a form on that i'm going to use a directive form group and to this form group we are going to assign this course form so if you see this course form it is storing a form group so we are going to assign that form you know that form group to this form group directive so here we have an error and that is because for the form group we have also specified the type as null so that's why we have this error so for that what we can do is i'll remove this null from here and i'm not going to initialize it with any value but since we have not initialized it with any value we are going to get this error so for that i'm going to go to ts config file so here we have ts config.json and i'll simply set this check to false okay and now that error is gone and here also we should be able to assign that course form to this form group so this is the first step now we also need to connect these fields with the form controls which we have created so we have created this title form control this description form control author price and image so we also need to connect these properties with these html elements where the user is going to input some value so first of all to make things more readable i'm going to move it to separate line in here i'm going to add i'm going to use another directive so here we are going to use form control name so this is for the title so to this i'm going to assign the title property in the same way let me copy this line and let's do the same thing for other input elements so here we also have the text area first of all i'll move it to separate line to make it more readable and then here again i'm going to add form control name and i'm going to call it as description then for this author text i mean for the author input also i'm going to add a form control name directive and to that i'll assign author then we have an input for price so i'll move it to a separate line to make it more readable and then i'm going to add form control name and here the form control name will be price so these names which we are specifying for the form control name it should be same as these properties which we have created here then only those form controls will be connected to these form control properties okay let me close this tsconfig.json file and finally we also have a form control for selecting an image so here we have an input of type file on that also i'm going to add the form control name directive and to that i'll assign image let's save the changes now whenever the submit button here is clicked that means whenever this create course button which is a submit button when it is clicked an event will be raised by angular reactive form and we can listen to that event on this form so on this form we are going to listen for ng submit event and whenever this submit event happens we want to do something so here we simply want to call a method on create 
course now currently we do not have this method in the component class so let's go ahead and let's create this let's go to add course component.ts and in here i'm going to create a method on create course which will be called whenever the create course form will be submitted and for now i'm simply going to log a message here and here let's say form submitted let's see if it works let's save the changes let's go to our application and let me open developer console let's go to console let's clear everything here and first of all let's click on this create course button it is going to open the create course form on that when i click on this create course button you see it has logged form submitted so so far everything is working as expected now let's go back to vs code now here instead of logging form submitted a string value i'm going to log this course form so here i'll simply say this dot course form let's save the changes now let's go to our application again and again let me clear everything here let's open the create new course form and now when i click on the create course button you see it has logged a form group in that form group we will have a value property and this value property stores all the properties of the form so we have author description image price and title and since we have not entered anything in these form elements the value is null but let's go ahead and let's enter some value so here let's say javascript course let's also enter some description okay here let's say the author is john smith and price is 99.99 let me clear the console here and now i'm not going to select any image but if i click on this create course button and now if we expand this form group and there if we expand the value property there you will see that we have the values which we have entered in these form elements so if you see author is john smith that's the value we entered description is this is an example description as you can see that's what we have entered in this text area and the title is javascript course so you can see title as javascript course price we have put as 99.99 so that also you can see that the price is 99.99 and since we did not selected any image the image is null so now let's go back and here instead of logging directly the course form let's log the value property of the course form let's save the changes let's go to our application let me clear the console let's open the course button let's enter some dummy data And when I click on this create course, now it is going to log an object. And in that object, we have all the details which we have entered in this form. Now we want to pass this object to our courses state in order to create a new course with these details. And that we will do in our next lecture. Now on these form elements, we can also add some validation, but right now I'm not going to add any validation on these forms. But if required, in one of the coming lectures, I'll also show you how you can add validation for each element in this form. But this is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. So in this lecture, we are able to read the form data. And now we want to read that form data. And with that form data, we want to create a new course. Let's see how we can do that in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions from this lecture, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.